I'm going to stack your toes right now. The final drill I'm going to do on this combo is I want to be able to step away from his punches. If he extends his glove out here, I don't want to step into a punch to kick. That's the problem with looking down. I look down, I don't pay attention, and I walk right into this glove. I want to go to his outside his shoulder. So my goal to kick him here is I have to move over here. And then this is nice too because I can kick him over here. I can kind of push that hand out of the way if it stays out there. But typically it's going to come back. So if he jabs, he does a jab at me. I want to not walk into a punch. I want to always move outside, be here, and be here. I know I did it wrong because if he's here and I move over here, he's got a secondary punch that's going to meet me right here. So I'm like, oh shoot, I went the wrong way. So if you're not sure, the person can throw both punches out like this and do it. So Bob, just throw some punches outside, just straight, just staying there, jabs and crosses. I either want to stay away from the back, but then if I'm too far back, I can't reach him. So to make contact with his legs, I'm gonna to step to the outside. He continues to punch, right? Keep you know, punch over here, this is the target. See, I'm moving away from his punches, right? So he can continue to punch and I can continue to kick him here. That's the idea. So stop there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a rear leg, powering it into Bob's leg. What he's gonna do is he's gonna lift that leg up and check it. So just do that drill right now. Boom, drill's done. He does a rear leg kick to here, I check it, boom. And make sure you don't go past that. If you see they're looking down a lot, you want to get so they're looking up. So I'm looking at Bob's eyes. I kick him, he blocks. He keeps his eyes up in here, he kicks, and I block. Boom. You don't have to look down to know you're kicking down. If you know where the shoulders are, guess where the legs are? Directly below. So as long as I look at his shoulders, I know where to kick. If I look at this shoulder, I know where that leg is. It's right below him. So people think they have to look at the target every single time, and we got to get out of that habit. That's why people that do too much boxing of a bag get in that bad habit. They keep looking at their targets. So in here, you're going to lift the leg up and block. Boom, without looking down. Then you kick here. I keep my eyes up. Boom. And then we just go back and forth. Boom. He kicks me. I kick him. So that's the idea. But that didn't really help me on my counter. So what we're going to do is Bob's going to kick me with the rear leg here. I block it. I'm going to step to the outside like we just talked about to get away from either punches. Then Bob does it. He's going to lift up this leg. After he lifts this leg up, that same leg's going to kick twice and he needs to get away from my punches. See how he's away from the punches? That's the idea. Bob kicks me again. Then I get away. Boom! Boom! That's the idea. I kick Bob. He blocks the nearest leg and he gets out of the way. Boom! Does the two kicks. Good job. Switch sides. Now the right leg. So let's just start with the basics. I'm going to kick with the rear leg. Bob's just going to lift that lead leg up. And we're going to try to keep the eyes up here. Then Bob kicks me here without looking down. And I lift it here. So eyes are up. I kick him. He sees it coming. He kicks me. I see him lean. I can see he's coming into me. So I know something's coming from that side. Once you feel comfortable with that, it's going to follow up. So Bob's going to kick me with the rear leg here. The leg that lifts up is the leg that's going to get out of the way to kick from both sides here. So if I'm going that direction, Bob's going to end up stepping that direction because now we're in the opposite lead. I kick him here, his lift, uh, lead leg lifts. He gets over there to set up for his kick so he's out of my punching range. Then Bob kicks me with the rear leg here. I block it. I get out of the way and I kick twice. I kick Bob. He lifts his leg up. He gets out of the way. He returns with two. So you want to practice that, that would be, and it's real simple. If I'm just doing it with myself, somebody, said, somebody says, hey, I don't have a partner to practice with, you can always practice Muay Thai with yourself. You got a bag as your opponent, you can move the bag around, kind of act like it's a bobbing and weaving person, or I can just be here. What am I doing? I'm shielding, I'm sidestepping, zoning out of the way, I'm kicking, I'm coming around and I'm kicking. Sometimes it's just a matter of putting a target way high up and try to focus on that high target and just keep doing this. If you're looking down a lot, you gotta change that habit. And then I'm here, the second thing I gotta worry about is getting out of the way. So, I shield kick and I get out of the way. Then I shield kick, I get out of the way to set up the kicks for the left-right combo. If you're in the left lead, if I'm in the right lead, same idea, practice this for a while. Practice this and the side step. Then practice this, the side step, but from the side step, you're gonna continue those kicks. Practice that. 